of the events that you have been at. And I suppose pride, your self-respect, your order, your discipline, and the way that you have represented the tradition of 98 in County Wexford and nationally, abroad and everywhere. You have been utterly professional, dedicated, and you deserve enormous credit. And I think every 25 years, or 1948, I think was the last big commemoration of 98, it comes once in a generation, and I think you can all be intensely proud of the way you have remembered the 30,000 people who died, but most especially the 20,000 people in County Wexford. And as I have said before on many occasions, those people may have died very cheaply in huge, horrible numbers, but what they fought for lives on as it is the cornerstone of democracy around the world. Congratulations to you one and all, and the memories that you have given all around this country and elsewhere will abide forever. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ivan. And now I call on a man from County Mead, great friend of mine, great friend of pikemen in Mead and all the surrounding counties, Paddy Pyron, wherever Paddy is, will you please come forward, Paddy? I see he was on the very rough last floor down there. It is a magnificent sight just to look across here. It is magnificent. I think it never before was there anything seen. And you know, we might get a uh, contract with culture. We guarantee we could sow so many trees in an hour. Thousands, actually. How many seconds were we saw on that there? Uh, Thirty. Thank you. Man, Paddy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with an absolute great pleasure that I actually stand here in front of you this evening. This is definitely the biggest audience I had since the last time I was arrested. <laughs> but the trees here this evening were presented by an organisation called Kamora Rigdomi. Kamora Rigdomi was set up about this time last year to actually create a bit of awareness in Mead and probably the surrounding counties about the 1798 rising. The people who actually presented the trees again are not myself or Jackie here, but they are starting in, in, in order from the Chocolin, a place that Bill Murray will never remember coming into. From people like Michael Kenny, who is a butcher above the Don Chocolin, who actually put money together to actually put up a little stone. And from below, keeping me company below in the corner, men like Paddy Allen, who came out with every call and every duty, and wasn't afraid to take out the banjo either. From Colmullen Kem, Peter Murray, Peter Mooney and Niall O'Reardon. From the buying camp, Finian of Canada. Finian stood in my house about three weeks ago while the commemorations were winding down. Finian said, said to me, I say you're out of pocket because of this. I said, Finian, yeah, what, what, what about it? He said, Finian, don't be out of pocket or don't run out of money. Contact me before that happens. That's what you call a true follower of 98. From, some, from Summerhill and most of the people here who were actually on the trip to me will remember Summerhill and Niall Fagan. Niall Roy was a man who stood in front of his own community above and gave them a rattling reception that they have never seen before. And I'm very thankful to Niall for all his work he's doing all year. From a thought comes Joe Mannering. Joe, unfortunately, the historical society had plans to put up a plaque. And Joe, because of circumstances beyond the control, the plaque is not just up yet, but it will be up. From our cat camp father, Mulvaney, if we wanted a priest at a commemoration, give the bow father a ring, he'd be there. From Garrison camp, Garrison historical society. From Bally Bottle camp, John McIntyre, Dave and Larry and all the gang that's here today. From some other sort, you couldn't go far away from Mason and Jackie and Anne and herself below the bottom, and various other help that came into the, into the organisation. And in the elite, there came a man who called Jerry Buckley. Jerry set up the South East Mead Commemoration Society, and has left us with the National Memorial to all blackness in Ireland. And fine monument of anybody in County Mead, make sure and go and visit it. 
In Ghana we have the day of pleasure with Frank Dorsey. In Rapoi we adopt the Leo Kun and the Historic Society. In Slain we adopt we have the Historic Society, Jared John Card and Maureen Fallon. In Rakenny, you'll never forget the day of walking up the side road up to Rakenny when you were in and failed the little memorial. That was the walk Gillen and, and Jerry Weldon. For Mountain Town, for who could forget Diana Pollock? Theresa Marion, Johnny Cassidy. Remember the day in Johnny Cassidy's farm? That was one of the best commemorations I was ever at. And all the crew who had come up one for one, stood on buses, cars, walked, ran, drank pints, sang, danced till the early hours. For the group, they still remember the Wexford men with pride and dignity. The Wexford men who walked through Night Town, Bog, into Lowe's Town, Wright County, and into Valley Bog. Who is this there? We're in Muller County Cabin, where there is one and one coffee grave, which we will actually get back to. The St. Killian's Heritage Centre, who picked up who poked up the flag and flew with a dish up. From Kells, of course, came the Scott Schoolmaster, Brendan Ma Ma McCabe, and of course, the one and only Oliver Condon. From Kings Court came Patsy Sherlock, Joe Condon, who gave up his time, his cameras. He developed all the pictures, the such a collective pictures we have, i never seen. And again, another woman below, who I'm going to mention, is Nora Gilroy. And St. John's done the great pleasure of driving up from Cork today to actually be here with us. And again, they have quite heritage for them in full. From Slim Tim, John Wiseman, Tony O'Sullivan, and the one and only, and anybody who knows the man knows exactly who I'm talking about, is Pat Marley. Pat picked up our committee when it was down and out, read new life into it, sent us off all on our jobs, and we actually produced a fabulous pageant. In Dunderry, who can forget the day out in Dunderry, with Henry and Carmel O'Callaghan? In Melbourne, in, in the old hometown, we have people there like Sean Rowe, David Murphy, Adrian O'Donnell who threw his hand into his pocket, the Northern Silver Bank, and our PRO fraud from Cremona is Joe Riley. In Clonard, you had Josephine Donnellan, ever forget the pipe mask, was absolutely in one of the most moving, moving families I, I've been at. In Renville, I think he's here somewhere around the place, it was Jim Mallet. Mrs. Mallet, when he actually came to me, they were actually let down. Now, I'm not going to comment on whether they were or not let down, because I wasn't there at the time. But well, any animosity there was in 48, it's now buried with the trees in Wexford. I think it is an absolutely fabulous gesture to have us down here to actually tent the trees. Another particular point I want to bring up is it was, it was mentioned that in the year of uh, the Bookfinder Agreement, that it just happened to be the 200th anniversary of 1798. That's very true. But well, we had a job to do all, all this year as well. We had to make sure that the conscience of the Irish people went with the negotiators of the Good Friday Agreement into the buildings below in Maryfield. That there wasn't a deal done, or done that didn't justify the sacrifice of people in this country for the last 800 years. I couldn't help watching there. I was at home one last Saturday night week. And an absolutely fabulous programme that gave born done on Oma. It was absolutely, truly wonderful, very stirring, very moving. I'm just waiting now for Gay Bourne to give us back uh, another program on the people who left Vinegar Hill, who, who went home to find their wives and children hung around trees. The people who left the GPO in 1916, who were actually executed, and the whole way down the line. Omer, though a dreadful, dreadful incident, and don't let anyone take anything away from it, has been the story of Irish history for the last 800 years. And peace without justice, and without respect to the memory of every man, woman and child who was buried in Irish soil, or buried in Australia, in America, and on the 50th anniversary of 1798, in 1848, the one million people who starved and left the country to make this country what it is. That's what the Good Friday Agreement is about. It's not about personalities, it's not about Protestant, Catholic, dissenter. It's about justice, peace, and the right to live in your own country in your own way. Number three point I want to make, the myself and Bill Murray are actually hatching up the plan. I have vowed that of all the Wexford graves in County Mead that have vanished over the last 50 years, 
We will not lose any more of them. I have heard the words through my organisation and every other organisation that if there's a copy grave in danger in County Maid, we are ready and willing to escort them back to Wexford. So I will ask for all these pipe men, women, to stand on alert when Bill gives the word, we'll be ready to bring one of your own back home. Now, the last point I want to bring up is something that was related to me about the National Visitor Centre. I have actually seen in one of the local papers where the National Visitor Centre, which is our, which I would consider to be our official headquarters, is, is on a certain time to commemorate people who died in the First World War for selling coffee. I have no problem whatsoever, I actually think there were very, very brave people. No, no one was guided who went out to, to fight in the Fourth World War. Mary McAleese, fair play for us, she and Mary, she unveiled a fabulous monument to them. 